Hey everyone, welcome to Echo Clip. So, for those of you guys who are starting off with Abyssal Drive, most of you are kind of a week or probably two weeks here already and you haven't gone far. As far as I have um, done with Abyssal Drive, I am I started, uh, I think, during soft launch. So, I'm way ahead of you guys, probably around 70km already. So Abyssal Drive roughly is your tower system, infinite tower system, wherein once you defeat a stage, you go further and further down. So it's a dive. It's not a tower. It's a reverse tower. Anyway, um, you'll start off with the easier stages. As you clear them, uh, they will give you these currencies, tribute points, abyss points. Abyss points are for your... Uh, equipment or combat gear and they actually give you uh, combat gear as well so I think this is a fragment of combat gear or probably this this is a combat gear ready so why is abyssal dive important it actually gives us a lot of equipment as we go further uh, the better the the better drops that you'll be having and this one is for the event so the event also has currency here for abyssal dive uh when you know it happens so again what do you do you just battle through it obviously um, your progress will depend on team composition the existing gear that you have and also your team level and gear and the usual so what is my tip for this one um Basically, my tip for this one would be uh, on how to... There are three different levels in Abyssal Drive. So, you'll be uh, given Forbidden, Freakish, and Normal. And the recommended power goes down. But take note that even if you have a lower power sometimes, you can even take Forbidden. So, I'll show you guys an example. So, I will have to... Um, this is uh, this is actually your store here, so you can buy your equipment here as you progress your permission level This opens to you the purple one. Do not buy this one guys. This is easy to farm So the blue ones are easy to farm. Do not buy these you will be buying these the elite procurement once you have enough of these resources and eventually you will be buying these so these are harder to farm i don't have one assembled yet at this point but again this is your end game gear for abyssal uh dive and for your um cases so let's go back there is also a ranking system i'm not sure if you guys are into the ranking system but there's a ranking system here and there are rewards as well so i have it <laughs> I haven't really ranked here, but definitely if you want to go further, you will have better rewards as you rank for Abyssal Dive. So again, going back to before before I do a sample, there are two buttons here at the bottom, Battle Speed Up and Quick Battle. The Quick Battle is going to be open at a certain level. I just forgot what. Uh, but you can do quick battle once you reach that level and quick battle is everything up to a point wherein you stop the last time uh, battle speed up is just sweeping the whole floor so for example let's do battle speed up here uh, this will then there are buffs of course but that's only for the floor so 1km to 2km so you could do this um individually if you want so again i'm gonna be sweeping it because i've completed it and uh, there are there is actually a bonus here so there we go so this is actually the boss um for every for every um three stages there's a boss type scenario for you we're in you need to clear this this is harder these are the harder stages so again they have forbidden freakish and normal so i'll i'll demonstrate that i'll just sweep this so quick battle for everything so as you can see it goes down to the floor that you last played in or you were you know you weren't able to finish 
So I'm at, I think, level 70, floor 70, if I'm not mistaken. So this is just the easier way. Um, by the way, the quick battle and uh, the quick battle is going is not gonna cost you anything. It just unlocks at a certain point. I know there are certain features in the game that is paid. It's ac I'm actually up to 83. So there you go. Then they're then they're gone. So I'm at 36. So I'm here. Um, I'm actually stuck here and your evaluation account is here every time you fail a certain stage uh, this uh, you only have three tries then you can try again on the next day so again um, let's just have a sample one so I my power is uh, 153 1532 K then the recommended power here is going to be 1459 K definitely I'm over it so let's just um, let's just battle this so as you go down again, it um, it uh, goes down in the recommended power. Let's do a one forbidden battle. Hopefully, I could just uh, uh, fast forward this, but not this time. So more or less, again, there are, there is a certain level, or there's there is a certain uh, leeway in terms of battle power. So let's say, for example, um, this this is an example: a hundred thousand, and you are at nine ninety thousand. Sometimes. You can defeat the 100,000 uh, recommended uh, 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 power with your 90,000. Uh, do not assume that you have to exceed or equal the recommended power. Because that, at first, that was my assumption that I had to um, exceed that for me to, to pass the stage. So let's just um, get these buffs here. And it's open. 37 i'm at 37 right now so forbidden is um again i'm still at forbidden so let's go through the battle i actually want to show you guys a scenario where in i'm at a lower uh power than the recommended power for that stage it's not impossible i've done it um that is why i've gone further so so far so far this stage you just have to be patient and grinding it Again, you have to upgrade a lot of things. Um, if you have seen my video that uh, on on if you are stuck in certain levels, refer to that video because there are ways there wherein you can increase your power uh, regardless of what team you have. So it's still at 150.06k and I'm 153.2. So let's just do this. Let's just battle. Because some... Again, are 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 just intimidated by the number if they don't go over or or if they are below, they won't give it a try. But always give it a try because who knows up up until when you could clear the stage with your existing battle power. Because most games usually, if they specify a battle power and if you don't equal it or exceed it, then uh, usually cannot automatically um, uh, clear the stage. So again. All you have to do is tweak your lineup. You don't have to change your lineup almost often. Um, I started out with only two SSRs and four SRs. I started out with Yulia and with um, Fenriru. Then the rest were SRs. So now I'm at 1530 and 1532. Let's, let's move forward with this and let's see if... Uh, I can clear this with uh, lesser power than the recommended one. So at least right now the the matchups are, are kind of quick. And also the sad thing about this, you cannot skip this. So battle cannot be skipped. So you have to go through the motions when you're playing this. So far, I'm happy with my lineup, guys. Um, this is the team that I've been using since I was able to get Niz. I was able to get um, Iken. So defense. Yeah, I think I'm okay. So the next battle power is one five five four. So the recommended one is already high. Let's see how further I can go after this one. So, 
again, the recommended battle power is, I think, just an exaggeration of uh, if you can clear some stages or not. So as soon as you get defeated on the highest battle power, you then go down one up until the last one. So we will have to clear this one. Okay. So we are at 38k. Uh, 1578. So again, the recommended battle power is already bigger than what I have. So let's just continuously go down. Up until I fail a certain stage, then you go down a certain difficulty. So far, I've been doing good. And sometimes it's also up to the combination of uh, cases that you can clear some of the stages. Again, it requires a lot of understanding on team building, um, specific uh, cases that you can bring uh, with each other. There we go. So we are at... So again, the recommendation is just to go further and further up until you can no longer clear it at Forbidden. You go down to Freakish. So let's go. So again, I am at lower power at this at this point. Still cruising. Actually, didn't take much you know damage or didn't have a casualty there. So it's been good. Because again, the higher the difficulty, the bigger your rewards are. So as much as possible, um, go towards the higher difficulty when you're going down the dive. So again, this event is one of the best in farming for equipment. This event we will really um, will, re will really be a must, especially in your progress because... Uh, the equipment is the first gear that you'll be having. The Chimera will appear afterwards and also the Vibration Arms will, will appear afterwards. So the first set of gears will be your equipment. So th they are called equipment. So they are here. You can farm them here. So I am now at 162 and... Uh, sorry, the recommended power is 162 and my power is 153. Let's move further. Just... Uh, just uh, you can actually grind this up until you you exhausted your three tries. So so far so good. Um, I'm by the way using a balanced lineup. Um, as you if you if you haven't seen that uh, uh, team building part two, please take a look at that. Um, it's in my my playlist for Ecocalypse. You can just browse through that and. See what are the other lineup options that you may use. Um, the lineup options that I am using or I'm recommending is not case specific. It's position specific. But I've, I've created a grouping there and um, just know which group do they belong in. So I am at a uh, hit rate. So I'm 39. So, uh, 153 and recommended power is 164. Let's just continue on this and see how further I can clear this. This is the only tip that I can give you guys. And uh, more or less, you have to experiment on how far you can go with lower BP against the highest BP uh, recommended. I actually noticed this. Probably a few weeks after or a month after I've been playing that um, I can still clear this level even if I'm not re meeting the recommended power for a specific stage. So again, um, it helps to experiment because sometimes we discover things that are not really divulged. So this is one strategy that you have to figure out for yourself and I'm glad I was able to figure it out. So next would be 167 to 153 for me so let's see again as you can see my team hasn't suffered a lot of um, damage and i've been dominant so far even with the low power so as you can see you can really go further even with the low bp you just have to try <laughs> and try until you cannot clear a certain stage So, there you go. 
Again, this is an easy clear even with lesser BP. Okay, so cleared. Um, I'm still at... I'm at 40. So 169 to 153. Again, we'll have to see if uh, I will be defeated at some point. I I bet this this won't go on forever. At some point, I'll be decimated by a certain team from the enemy. Uh, but again, I'd like to maximize my rewards by you know going through the most difficult content or the most difficult stage for each of the level of the dives this this event really guys will help you a lot um i tell you um aside from, it's sometimes it's hard to level up your cases but once you have the equipment that you grind from here try to equip them as soon as possible with the different um there are some stages here that give you free gear. You just have to go to the store. Um, there is free gear in the store. Then the game will also have um, a... It's going to go back. So here. So... In honor. So once you unlock the, the abyss. So as you unlock the abyss, you'll be unlocking free stuff. So the gear I've already unlocked. So as you can see here, there are free gear. They're already sold out because I've unlocked it. So there is additional free gear that you'll be unlocking afterwards. And it is again here that you buy um, gear for your currency or the equipment for the currency that you get from a Abyssal Dive. So going back, I'm actually I'm going to try this. So battle speed up. Okay. So definitely I'm at 41. So there is you can actually click um the quick something if it appears. So you are I'm going to be facing the boss. So I'm at 180 and 153. Let's see if I can still clear this one up. This is I think going to be tough because this is going to be a boss. So far, so far I'm going to... <laughs> okay, so far so good. So far so good. So... I think I, I'm still going to... Oh no. There's a certain uh, qualifier for a certain stage. As you can see there. Let's go back. Battle target is total ally HP is 50%. If you go down... 50% then you cannot clear the stage so you have to clear the stage with uh, more than 50% HP so um, Although I think you can defeat them, but you still have to go down to lessen the damage So let's go with 175 and see if we could receive lesser damage for the stage So as you can see here in the upper left uh, Current total HP percentage is displayed so you can probably monitor if your HP is going, you know, uh, as expected or not. But roughly with these stages, I usually end up losing unless I can dominate that um, the the enemy with higher power. But at this point, I'm actually forced to go with the normal one. So at, it's at one six nine versus one five three. So this is actually my last one. So evaluation count is last. So I'm just gonna be up to here, more or less. This one, okay, support. So, do, uh, by the way, don't purchase these unless you are really, really wanting these. But again, you can farm these um, due to grinding. You don't need to spend this currency for this one. So, going back, let's see if I can try with normal with the higher power uh, versus the boss. And let's see if I can clear this one. So, again, there is a condition here. That it should be your H your team's HP should be 50% or greater, which does not look good. <laughs> so I'm at 71. I'm at 51. <laughs> and I'm almost wiped out. So probably 
at this point, I'd level up before I go back here. Because of the qualifier, I cannot move forward. So again, level up at this point. Grind it out. Level up your, your cases, their gear. Uh, whatever it, you know, whatever it takes to make them stronger. Chimera, equipment. Um, you also have uh, vibration arms. Level them up to, you know, whatever you can level them up to. So probably I'm at 153 now. So probably take it, take your team to 160 before you try it again. Like that's actually for me, or probably around 165. So that is it, guys. Um, that is it for Abyssal Dive. So hopefully I have you know given you, given you tips for Abyssal Dive. Again, these points are very valuable for gear. And make sure that you don't buy the blue ones, you buy the purple ones. And eventually, once you have unlocked um, the yellow ones or the orange ones, then you prioritize these. These are very hard to purchase. They're very expensive. And um, again, they're very hard to farm. So Elite Procurement is actually better. But again, you'll be, you'll be stuck in Elite Elite procurement with the gear that you've farmed here and the trailblazer procurement will take a long time so that is it guys for abyssal dive so hopefully if you have questions for abyssal dive please put them down in the comment section um as far as for team comp Tom, i don't really have a specific one i would suggest you bring a balanced team comp uh one support one debuffer and one debuffer control and one defense the other three would be your dps so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here